Good morning, me again. Um, oh, just have to sit down. Spoiling you with videos, but I just really feel like I need to connect with my blog a bit. There's been quite a bit of stuff going on. Um, just give me a second. And my creative stuff's been a bit neglected, really. So these are what I've done over the last couple of evenings. And I need more pages. There's three there. One of them's not finished that one um but i've been as you see from the picture that accompanies this video on my blog you won't see it on youtube it's on my blog um i have been doing some more papers on the sewing machine so my hands are dropping off as well oh just bang my head so what i'm doing today is probably going to be very brief i'm just going to and i haven't brought any white thread but never mind um, I'm, I, this is I put this together so if you see these little things here these were all put together on well not they weren't um, that one that one that one that one they were put together like this on a base of white cloth and then stitched simply stitched some of them are left plain in the middle some of them have web stitches on them um, and some of them have French knots on them I'm just looking for a needle Day, 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 day. Um, so I just thought I'd share this little bit with you. It's not going to be very long. Um, it doesn't really matter what colour I do, as long as the colours are consistent with what's going on in the pages that are already made. So again, like I said in the last video, I don't base these. Um, I know there's a lot of pins there, but if you're careful and you're aware of the pins, then you can... Uh, you can work around those and if they get in the way yeah just move them and baste a particular one um so please don't put your thread in your mouth i've just done it but what i do then hang on so if i have to put my thread in my mouth to make sure they stay together okay then i always cut that bit off okay um so I'm going to put a knot in this and I'm literally just going to simply stitch one of these onto the back in fabric and then I'll put this away till this evening and then I'll stitch the rest of them down before I decide if I'm going to put web stitches or anything on them. Um, putting a lot of knots in this thread. Oh, my hands are dropping off. I have a little workshop outside, out with the house for those of you that don't know. And it's freezing. I do have heating in here. But I haven't put it on. Um, I'm tight. I'm not going to be out here long enough to justify it. Although my hands will disagree. Right. So I've got a knot in that. So if I do perhaps one of the plain ones, you'll see what's happening here. If I'm stitching two layers, <coughs> I always come up through the thinnest area, which is one layer at the, at the edge of this ribbon, and down through the thickest bit. Okay. So an up, and this just catches it to the bit to the backing cloth, like I said, and then I might leave it plain because sometimes the ribbon, especially if it's got a nice sheen on it like this one, this one's silk ribbon that I'm working on now, um, if it's got a nice sheen on it. It doesn't need anything else because it's decorative enough, just being like this. And I could. There is an argument to say that I could just take the ribbon, cut it and put it in the book but something ritualistic about this that I like so so just like that all the way around simple and I've cut it with pinking shears so I'm going into the spaces created by the pinking shears that's how it's even that's how I'm keeping it even now when I was studying we were banned from using pinking shears and that's because I understand that. It, hang on, I can move this pen now. That's because they want you to learn how to do it the long way, to get experience of doing things the long way, the more difficult way, before you use some of these tools that help it make it easier. And I do understand that. Um, you're not at university to learn quick fixes, are you? You're at university to learn method and process and so but I'm so happy now that I can use pinking shears so there so I'm two 
I'm half the way around. So that's what I do. That's how I approach this. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, nine on there. Won't take me long to actually stitch them to this white backing. And then I'll cut them out when I've done that, but not before. So once I've stitched them to this white backing, I'll decide about web stitches or French knots. And then I'll cut them out, leaving a little edge. If you look at this one, there's a little edge of white cloth on that one. Can you see it? So I will leave some of the white cloth on there as well. Okay, I'm going to have to stop because my hands are dropping off. Oh, I have to stand up to turn this off as well. 